Good morning, my Sagittarians. How are you guys doing? Um, yeah, we are doing your weekly Zodiac. I know I just did your bonus reads, but I am sticking to a schedule. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, yeah, so Monday's fire, Tuesday's earth, Wednesday's water, and Thursday's air. Fridays, I am going to do, I want to do the, the live read actually live. This is where it's a recap of all the week, weekly energies. And I want to focus on what's new coming in, be it money, something, just, you know, whatever news coming in, trying to focus. That's where I want to put the intention. And then Sunday, once again, I'm going to be doing bonus reads, top three view highest signs. So it, that's more of a thank you for, for the signs really who have really showed up and showed out. So um, yeah, that is what's going on. I'm using Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Um, thank you, Sag, though, for your support. It, really thank you. I just, I really, I wish I could just give you this hug. I hope you feel it because I just really appreciate the hell out of you guys and for showing up and showing up for this channel like you do and for all my new viewers if you're about to feel the vibe please feel free to like and subscribe okay let's get into your weekly zodiac king of wands reverse leo energy and a queen of cups reverse cancerian energy what's below that three of cups reverse I, you know when i saw when i flipped it the first thing i thought was jealous and i thought of a friend weirdly enough, or a family member. And then when I look below, more Cancer, Three of Cups Reverse, this could be somebody talking behind your back, but why Why are they doing that? Six of Pentacles Reverse and the Five of Wands Reverse, did you break up with a friend or not talking to a friend? This King of Wands Reverse though in the Fool Reverse, this is so interesting. If you are this right now, this is Aries, and if you're embarking in a new relationship or you have something new and good going for you, just know that you might have somebody who in your face might be like, good for you, Sag, but behind your back, they feel anything but that. It's only due to, they have fear of, either they just don't have anything new themselves, or maybe they're in a long-term relationship where the passion's long gone, and they have fear to do something about it, and you're over here living your best life ever. So especially if you're a Sagittarius in that arena, I just, I, I don't know, I just feel like that 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 Queen of Cups reverse, the first thing I thought was either it could be a mother, it could be a mother-in-law, it could be, it feels family or friend though. All right, I don't know if that's gonna continue for the main story, but that might be somebody out there needed to hear that. All right, my Sagittarian, some moon rise in Venus. If you are Sag, know a Sag, feel like being a Sag, a Sagis, I'm glad you're here. I really am, I love my Sagis. Um, but you can be a Sag and this resonates, but you could be, a cross watcher sag because somebody is here trying to see what you're up to so let's see what's going on for my sagittarius sun moon rise and venus general energy for sagittarians what are the collective messages for sagittarians yeah knight of swords reverse i feel like you may have cut this person out or you're not talking to them that's what i'm getting gemini energy what's influencing the knight of swords reverse what's influencing the knight of swords reverse What's influencing the Knight of Swords reverse? The Hangman reverse. Pulled yourself away from them. But why do I feel this? You pulled yourself away from them, but you're now into something new. See, when it's right here, she's unzipping a new life. But it's really already become her. When it's here, I feel like she's all blue. Everything here is the sky. She's already in this new, new arena. And I feel like you're no longer... <sighs> Maybe you're just not the same Sag, let's face it. You're just not that same person that maybe you were broken and in a hard relationship and you you bonded with somebody in pain and you're not there anymore or you're not about to be. Even if you're not in something new yet, you don't want to sit there and be sitting in that energy anymore either. So the Knight of Swords Reverse is definitely a cutting away of an energy and I feel like they might be a bit longing or jealous too, longing and jealous for you. What's the reason? What's the reason for the reading? For Sagittarians, what's the reason for the reading? Yep, the fool. I love this. I think you you are taking a chance on love, you're taking a chance on you, but this is all about living in the future. You don't want to be in that icky energy. You don't want to be immersed in it. And some of you are in a relationship and there's so many new beginnings going on. 
And that's really where you want to be at. What is in the past? And that's Aquarian energy too. What's in the past? What's in the past? What's in the past, my Sagittarians? What's in the past? Ace of Wands reverse. Ace of Wands reverse is not feeling the situation, pulling yourself back, but maybe this was you in a very dark part, part of your life, feeling like, I don't know how I'm going to get out of it and dreaming of a day of getting out of it. But you know what? I feel like the day for dreams were over and now you're actually in a pentacle, Ace of Pentacle, Page of Pentacles, you know, you're actually growing something new. That's what I'm feeling. This was an idea. And I feel like there was a bond over something common. There was a common ground here and you're no longer feeling that. I just feel like I, I, the, I can't shake it. You've definitely cut somebody out. And I think they're, I think they're just, I, I mean, when I say they're jealous, it doesn't mean they're plotting against you, but they kind of just want what, what you have going on. And they are too afraid to actually do something about it themselves. What is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? It was a King of Pentacles reverse, probably what showed me. I'm going to put it there. All right, look at that high priestess though. Doesn't that look like somebody is like, they're in their emotions, being a super spy over here, super sleuthing in cancer season again. Maybe it's a Cancerian you, you cut out. Why, what is on, what is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? What is it? And the star, that's what's on your mind, happiness. I do feel like you guys are doing pretty, look at this Aquarius too. And the air sign, the Gemini sign, is the Knight of Swords reverse, getting clear on what what makes Sag happy. Is it being stuck in the past or is it in the future? I feel like you just, you grab that new beginning with both hands. And King of Pentacles reverse also on your mind is probably because I'm feeling two energies is this person. They don't know how to get out of their own muck. That's the word. They don't know how to get out of this this. I feel like somebody's really stuck in an energy and you somehow got out of it and it, you reach for the sun and you've just made a decision to not go back and not focus on what makes you unhappy. And somebody else, you know, I just feel like they want that for themselves as well. And I, I don't think you're talking to this person. What's the near future for Sagittarians? What's the near future? It did it again. I think it does that because it wants me to pull two cards. Seven of Swords came out sideways. Yeah, that. what did I say? You're no longer in the Ace of Wands reverse. You're in the pentacle and there you are. You're growing something new. Some of you are going to have a baby. Some of you are, are in the relationship that's going to be the long-term marriage. But you're in something new and somebody wants it for themselves. See how this card is? They want it for themselves. I'm telling you, and look at this King of Pentacles. You're over here growing something new and they're over here stuck in the same old, same old. Definitely a jealous energy. And that's what I'm getting. Take count of the energies around you. Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, Three of Cups reverse. Okay. What is this? Very specific storyline today. What is this Knight of Swords reverse and the Hangman reverse? Gemini and Pisces. Knight of Swords reverse, influenced by the Hangman reverse, cutting something out because you're no longer stuck. You're, I just feel like you've changed. I feel like there was a transformation that happened. You're no longer in dreamland thinking about what you want. You actually went after it and got it, or you're about to get it. What's this Knight of Swords reverse, uh, influenced by the Hangman reverse? Knight of Swords reverse, Hangman reverse. And the Hierophant, you did get it. Look at that. New relationship, baby. Some of you are going to marry this. I feel like some of you are getting seriously committed here. What's this higher Fentorian energy? And Page of Cups. Love. Love. It's all for love. Pages could, again, I feel like some of you are going to be having babies. Pages could be children too. All right. What's the fool reason for the reading? What's the fool reason for the reading? What's the fool reason for the reading? Five of Wands. I think this is what you decided to walk away from is the conflict. Gosh, this this could be a relationship, Sag, but I feel like it's just somebody who creates conflict, who makes everything a resistance. Someone you trust with your secrets and stories and they will sit there. They constantly play the devil's advocate. They say they're doing it for you, but it's more for them. To, you know, trying to dim what's going on in your life 
so whatever they're doing it can be more digestible you know what's this five of wands leo energy and the full aquarian energy what's the five of wands an ace of pentacles yeah i i just think this person's going to try to make you feel bad for taking your ace because and it's you know they're going to sit there and try to tell you why it's a bad idea but in reality they just want it for themselves not that they want what you exactly have but something like that what is this ace of wands reverse in the past for sagittarians what is this ace of wands reverse in the past and the knight of swords reverse yeah i told you cut that out ace of wands reverse got tired of the dreamer over here or somebody who made you believe something would be real and it's not and some of you if this isn't a friend if this is actually an ex this is somebody who's seeing you happy and moved on and it's not like I don't think they're going to chase you down and grab you, but they have nothing and nobody going on right now. And it's, you know what I got for some of you, and this might be one of you out there. If you ever get like trolls on your social media or something, it's like their other name trying to make you feel bad. I got, I just got that. Just be mindful of that. Okay. What is this King of Pentacles reverse in the star on Sagittarius mind? King of Pentacles reverse in the star. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is day in and day out working towards your happiness. On the star, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. It's patience. It's trying to build something of tangible, something real, right? So every day you are putting your energy into something that's actually going to bear fruit, something where it's going to have long-term stability. And the more you're in this energy, the more it actually, you're actually creating this. It's not like luck or happenstance. It's something you're actually doing that's resulting in making your dreams come true. The star is wish fulfillment. And it's not about, it doesn't have to be like, you know, um, lottery or, or happenstance kind of things. It's finding peace and joy in the mundane, not in the mundane, but in the day to day. How about that? It's finding peace and joy within yourself, being appreciative of what you have, uh, focusing on what you do have and no longer thinking so much about what you can't have. You know, it's being a very appreciative of where you are right now. What is this King of Pentacles reverse on, on your mind though? What's the King of Taurian energy? What's the King of Pentacles reverse on, on uh, Sag's mind? And the Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you're going to hear from somebody, especially if you cut them out. You're one way or another. You your Knight of Pentacles is why the Knight of Pentacles? Like, oh, I don't want to do a past read. We were doing so well. Why the Knight of Pentacles on the King of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Wands? Yeah, I feel like it's someone you blocked out. They're going to try to come back in. If this is a friend, if this is an ex lover, if this is a family member, they're going to try to come back in because you. I just feel like they miss your energy, but they also want what you have as if somehow your energy can bleed into them. But I don't like the way they're coming about it. It's very about, it's still going to be about them. So if you dealt with somebody you cut out that was a very selfish person, I don't think they've changed into being a giving person. King of Pentacles reverse is selfish. Seven of Swords is selfish. Like that. And I feel like you're already are doing well without them. What is this Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords? Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles reverse. I don't think you are even going to entertain this person. I think you already realize what they're about. I don't, I just think whoever you cut out, are, they're not doing very well right now. I think you, they want you to help them feel better. You're in a good place. They're in a bad place. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Nine of Wands reverse. There's your card. And I actually feel like this is them not knowing how to get on the horse like you did. I feel like you ha hit a big road bump. You went through something really painful in the past. And you're no longer sitting in it. You're no longer focusing on it. You're actually in something new. And you got yourself back on the saddle again. And you're, you're, in, you're, in, you're in a good place. Or you're on your way of being a good place. And I think this person, whoever you left behind, is in a very dark place. And Knight of Wands reverses, I feel like they're going to come in. Here's the King of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. Oh, look at this. 
Nine of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to come in. Look at these. It's a very emperor. They're going to come in maybe as a King of Wands, as you would be blessed to have them in your life again. But really, nothing's changed. King of Swords reversed. They haven't changed. Be very mindful. Be very wary. If someone reaches out to you, don't let it affect what you have going on. You're in a good place. First, but I will tell you, the very first thought was a friend. Some of you, as the reading progressed, I can see how it could be an ex-lover. Um, but I feel like some of you could really be even a friend or family member. I know tarot becomes like so tunneled vision on love that that's that other other people in one's life gets forgotten about and other relationships. So yeah, I just feel like it's more of a warning. You might hear from somebody, but I feel like it's more so they can get something that would actually make them feel good about them and has very little to do with making you feel good about you. All right, my Sagittarians, I just realized everything was cut off on that. Sorry about that. <laughs> So have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys on Friday. If I'm going to, I think I did say this. Um, I'm, so I'm going to do this live reading. If there's a time that works best for you guys, please put it down um, in the comment box. I know a lot of you guys watch different readings and stuff or you have jobs. Is it evening readings? Is it afternoon readings? What time works best for a live reading? Because I was going to run through the Zodiac and see what's new coming in per sign. Hopefully it's not over two hours like last Friday's reading. Um, but yeah, that's what the plan is. All right. Have a great rest of your week, Sag. Take care.